What did you say? I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> What are you eating? A donut? Mm -hmm. Fei is destroying you, huh? Don't worry. I'll get some chicken and broccoli later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mug, my leg, and oh. You, you let me do a video? Is it okay if I do a video? Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today is going to be a stock video. And I know you're probably looking at my nose saying, why is your nose red? Well, I got beat up today. All right, I'm practicing for uh, our fight in August. And I'd rather get beat up now than in August, you know, with Joey. So today I had a little sparring section. I did pretty good, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I got a good one right here on the nose, which feels good, which is okay, right? But I want to take you guys around and look at every fish that we have and also the fish that we're going to keep at the exhibit because we're actually starting to work on the exhibit. It doesn't look like we got all this mass going on but we have that giant tank being built we have a wall separating the exhibit to the retail area and a lot of really large tanks and some of the fish that we have that we're growing out this tiger fish this is a goliath tiger fish it's about now about 12 inches 12 13 inches which is a good size for one because they're hard to, to come by and even get to that size they're very finicky fish. I decided to grow these peacocks. These are the, the blackberry hybrids. And they have a nice bar in the middle. Some of them don't have the bar, but they're still really pretty fish. So we have three of those. We put the albino wells here to grow. What's your favorite fish, Ryan? Giant, giant shark. Giant shark? Mm -hmm. Like the one you're inside right now? Mm-hmm. Ah, he's here. He's inside of the giant shark. <laughs> um, we have two golden bear mundis, a golden gar. This is a golden Florida gar. There's a platinum gar there, but I also have a platinum gar at my friend's place that should be close to four feet. So when I have that giant tank ready, that's where it's going to go. We have these four aeropimas growing. This is my favorite one here because of the colors. You like that aeropima? Mm -hmm. All right, and um, a couple luteus, and I have a tarp in there. So these guys are all going to be going in the giant tank, and I believe this tank right here, the 3,000 gallons, is going to stay here. We're going to put sand and possibly a background as well, make her supernatural looking, and have um, super rare fish, whether it's stingrays, like maybe the phantom stingray can go in here. Let me take you guys around. Oh, we also have this goonch, golden goonch. There you go. And another golden goonch oh. that's back here, the giant one that we're gonna keep. So Jai right now is calculating to see what I'm gonna have for right lunch. Now we're ordering lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but before that, he was before trying to that. figure out the how many things we're getting for the retail area, right? Yep. So we're trying to figure that out. Luke, you need to start getting there, okay? So we can use your help. Alright, okay. buddy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> And then here, we're building our quarantine station. So this, even though I love it, is going to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to have an L-shaped row of tanks, bigger tanks, so it's more space. And instead of just acclimating and moving the fish, we're going to acclimate and leave them in there. So most likely, we're going to put Feijai's acclimation station in the middle, the one that he had in LA, to acclimate at the table and then move into their tanks. And it's going to be great, but it's going to be a lot of work. We have to actually cut those beams that you see back there. They're 10 foot tall. We're going to have to cut them all up and make it smaller because these tanks are only two feet wide. So we, we, it's a lot of work. We're going to have a lot of work to do to get this up and running. Eventually, all these tanks are going to be out of here. And we're still debating because we want to have an exhibit that not just would super large fish we want to have a, a whole variety of fish i'm concentrating here you this still have important. an order it should yes. be fast it should be chicken nuggets done so we're we're still thinking for Jai's trying to be healthy though because he's trying to be healthy we're still thinking about taking these tanks and putting in the exhibit because 
then we can do different habitats for different fish. So let's say if we want to grow a whole school of platinum archer fish, right? Then we'll have them in the top and maybe some smaller fish in the bottom and it'll be like a really nice tank. Right now, everything is playing just because it's easier for us to maintain and take care of the fish. Because you see right there, we fed them last night and it's a big mess. So it's gonna be tough, but that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna have plain tanks in the front. It's gonna have a lot of um, natural looking habitats from where this fish come from. But another fish, let me just take you guys around first. This is gonna be a stock video, but I'm also gonna show you some of the fish we're going to keep. I think that stingray right there is a keeper. And I know for I wanted to keep STs. If you guys are looking for STs, we got some really nice ones in. That one I think was a keeper. What other one do you want to keep? There's a lot of stuff I want to keep. Don't no, ask no. me that. Stingray. Then there's nothing for sale. Not stingray. ST. Which one? Oh, STs. Oh, geez. I think I'm definitely keeping that one right He's there. It's got like a big old spot on the face. It's okay. You like the body, right? Yeah, I like the body shape. We're probably gonna keep. I'm gonna keep at least like three or four to, to grow, grow out. out. Yeah. So probably that one, one of these guys, and probably one of these guys. This color is amazing. Yeah, and they're really well trained. Look at that. They're waiting to be fed. All right, so, right here. first I'm showing them everything that we're gonna keep. Okay. And then we're gonna do a video on the stock. We're gonna keep this guy, because I never seen one before. Have you seen one of these before? Nope, and he's doing really well. He's, with the shrimp, he just comes out and slurps it right And up. we figured out what it was, because of the markings. Yeah, you can, in, when you were making the video, right, we saw like a shadow of a, the marking, this yeah. the harlequin. I almost see a little bit you right now. It, yeah. yeah. So this is the albino harlequin catfish. That's the golden goonch that we're gonna keep as well, because it's huge. And we have a smaller one for sale. What about these rays? Which one do you want to keep here? Um, I'm, I'm probably going to keep the, the bullseye one back there. The donut? Yeah, either I'm going to come up with a name. I was thinking SpaghettiOs or bullseye or whatever. The kids. Um, gonna, we're we're going to keep one of these guys. The orange, the yeah, pink. Yeah, orange one. And uh, that's about it. The rest is up, yeah. Okay, and down here is where we have the Karuskins. Um, I want to keep two of them and maybe two Piraibas. So eventually we're going to move them to the front. And then we have a tiger shovel nose in there, but it's like a tigrinum. It's a wild one. So he should, he get, he should get huge. Another uh, attraction for the exhibit is going to be this one here. So let's talk about this ray for a minute. How is she doing? Is she ready to start fine. breeding? She's doing really well. She's eating well. Uh, we probably have to bump up the feeding at least one more time a week. We're feeding it every other day now, but I think if we feed every day, she'll be ready real quick. Her boyfriend is down here. Is that darker one right there? He also is it on autobook? Yeah. He also carries the same platinum genetics. So once we mate them, we should get 50%. So if she lays six. Pups, Pups three. three shouldn't be white like her. Dude, I can't wait. Maybe by the time we're open, we should have uh, some crazy little white pups. I hope so. <laughs> did you did you show them? Oh, we're showing only what we're keeping yeah, right now. Okay. Right now, is, this video, let's do this. This video is for what we're gonna keep and we'll do another video for stock. All right. Well, there's, there's one more I'm keeping, that ray back there, the one going up the wall. Why is that? Um, it's an eclipse ray with like bigger spots, so I, gonna grow them out for a little bit okay and then let's go to the ray tank here which one this one this we'll one. watch watch the makita we got to keep makita too yeah. makita is the catfish that we did the surgery on when they have makita okay, can you just lower the water for a little bit yeah. just so we can film? in here it's breeding projects for the future yes yeah, some is old breeding projects that i'm going to restart and some is new breeding projects so that bigger one right there is one of the hybrids uh, from my bloodline that I created and uh, I need a mate for her because I don't have a, a male that's to my standard to make this one yet. So we're waiting on finding a male. We've got tiger rays in here. They've been with us for almost a, a year now, yeah. right? They're doing really well. Usually tiger rays are kind of slow and timid, but in here they're very quick and aggressive. They come out to eat. We've some got flower. some flower rays that we're growing out. And then those are a couple of albino black diamond hybrids that we're growing out. 
So some of these we're going to be able to put in the exhibit, right? And yeah. have them breed over there. Yeah, it's either going to be back here or the exhibit. Depends, you know, what the situation is and what animals we're going to be mixing it with. And if the tank's appropriate, yeah, I'll put it out front for everyone to enjoy. So it's not every day that you're going to see a ray like that one. Yeah. Okay. And here you have... Here are some of my older... Breeders? Uh, yeah, black diamonds. So when you see LA older, history. how old do you think they are? Oh, they're up there. Um, I want to say at least seven years. Okay. So yeah, they're older. And you, you see there was some mating aggression right there. Wow, they really chewed her up. Yeah. So that's pro sometimes that's part of the problem when the female is not receptive to the breeding because they're not properly conditioned, but the male wants to do his thing. So situations like that happen, we have to separate the female. And then she should heal no problem. Hopefully. We'll take her time. Yeah. Okay, here we have Sheila. Then we put it with the, the brood sharks, you can get a bigger tank. We have a group of broods that we're going to try to breed. And then we have some phantoms. Yep. Right, so these are probably the largest fish that we have at the moment, but we're going to get more. It's just, if we get them right now, there's no way to put them. So that's that's it, the problem we have. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing like when you guys go to the pet shop and you see something you want. Sometimes you got to hold back a little bit because you're not ready or your tank's not ready. And this is our situation as well, so until we're ready and the big tanks are up and going, then we'll get more fish. So these are brown stingrays? Yes, these are designer hybrids. They're going to have all that unique, crazy marbling pattern and so forth. So, always trying to increase the difference. Okay. We never finished filling this tank. <laughs> that's, that's the downside of having these covers. You don't see it. You got to open to see it. Yeah. All right, let's take a look back there and see what else we're keeping for the exhibit. And guys, there's so many other fish that gets offered to us, but we have to say no because, like, like you just said, we're running out of space to keep these fish. So until we have our whole thing set up there, then we'll be fine. But right, let's you give everyone a better look. And what do you guys think? Should I keep it or not? Put it in the comments below. Uh, I think it's a keeper, and you guys. If you guys want to see more of it and you want us to hold on to it, just let us know. You can probably make some crazy hybrids with that, I no? think so. But the only downside is because I don't know it's past, it's hard to isolate and then reproduce it consistently. That's the mm. only downside. This guy's big. Look. He's got like his mouth. He can put a good four fingers in there. Wait, that just sounded weird. <laughs> you want to put four fingers? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying it's big enough. But let's just talk about something else. We're not keeping these guys. I want to keep him. Just because he looks weird. He looks like an anteater. Right? Yeah. But it's a little bit slow growing. It's probably a genetic issue. Right? Yeah, that's why the other he, one. That's why his, his uh, snout goes down. But it is really cute looking. If we don't sell that one, we might as well just keep it too. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. We saw the STs. Yeah, you can see they look amazing. This is like some of the best quality you can get out there. And every time they get spooked, their golden just lines up even more. Yeah, look at this guy. Well, Rocky, this is Rocky. If you know, anybody wants to take Rocky home, are they on the website? Uh, these guys are not. These guys are. Okay. But these guys, I haven't put it up yet. So if somebody wants to buy Rocky or like one Adrian. of these. Yeah. This is from the movie Rocky, I mean uh, Adrian. So one's Adrian, one's Rocky, and we'll call this Mickey. No, that's Gabriel, remember? Because of the, the, okay. the blind eye. We have a couple of these Chinese, albino Chinese perch that we're gonna keep. They put on some size already, huh? They grow really fast. If you feed them well, they grow really, really fast. So we got the Chinese perch. That is a Korean, golden Korean perch that went back there. He's hiding. They usually get what, like 14, 12, 14 inches? Yeah, they're, they're not super big growing, but you know, an average uh, size. We got some tigrinas we might keep, but this definitely is a keeper. This is a luteus. Albino looters that we got a few months back, right? Yeah. And we definitely want to see if we can make a whole looters tank to see if he'll breed this one. Imagine. Yeah. Or maybe we might source it out to somebody that can breed it for us. Right. right? That's an option too. And this guy, I don't, we haven't really talked much about this one. Okay. This is a albino tiger shovel nose. It's eating really well. Yeah. Look at his belly. Yeah, I told Anthony to put a little bit more food in here so that the luteus can get some uh, meaty food as well. Because the only thing we've been feeding it is the zucchini. 
But my question is, are you more excited about him? No. Or about him? Him. So that's, this. That's my no. I think that's my number one fish in here right now. Really, a clown knife fish. Yeah, of all fish, right? But that pattern is amazing. I'm only concerned is like as it grows, how is that pattern going to change? Well, he put on some size already. It didn't really change much. Yeah. But as the body spreads out, you know what I mean? It might yeah. space out. Right now it looks good because it's well balanced. But we'll imagine when it's 24 inches or 30 inches, but it only has a few black specks on the top. So, you know, we'll see. All right, but I think so far, these are the main fish we're gonna keep uh, back here. I mean, we're definitely gonna have a school of clown loaches when we're ready. We have more tarpons. I may consider growing out one or two of these um, Garamis. Garamis. They're kind of, they're high body. You see that? Yeah. It's a little bit short and high, um, and they're very impressive fish. They get really big and colorful. It, it'll be a, a nice fish just to like fill the tank, like round out the tank a bit. Okay. So if we have to buy another fish, like let's say exhibit's ready, we got any any fish you want. Which fish would you want? I don't know. It really. We just have to wait and see what pops up. It's always that spur of the moment. Um, there is something that's in the works that they're growing for us right now. I, I don't know. I don't like to jump the gun and tell people, but it's another albino fish. Oh, I think I saw the monster. video. Yeah, you saw it, right? It's going to come with an next shipment? I don't know. We're just waiting for it to get a little bit bigger because it, it was so tiny, it was a little bit risky to get it. But I think when it hits like five inches, I'll be comfortable to get it. And then back here, we also have those back there that we might keep. Which ones? The, the, uh, the pandas. Let's go show the them. Panda, the pandas. The barbs. The Ampalas. Oh, yes, yes. I remember now. The Mashirs. Yeah. These are loose, not loosistic, but um, what they call panda um, Mashirs. You see their body is translucent. You can see through the gill. You can see through the scales. You can even see the pattern of the flesh, like near the tail. You see it's like a rib pattern. It's a pink rib pattern. So we got two of those. But most likely we're just going to end up keeping. So a lot of like ghost looking fish, right? Right, rare. But you know, we also want to have stuff like this. Like I want to get a whole tank to put like these angels in. Um, we actually have two great tanks. Let's finish this video showing them all the tanks that we have that we're going to put up for sale. How about that? Oh yeah, but no, we, have that. To, we have to dig through a lot of stuff. Well, don't look at the stuff, just look at the tanks and the equipment. If you guys are looking for something, we're going to end up putting them for, them for sale pretty soon. Yeah, no, I showed them the blackberries. Yeah, we're looking here. The fins, the top fin is really blue. It's almost like they mix you it with Azul, it? right? Yeah. yeah. So, interesting. It could turn out to be something really, really cool. Imagine oh. this. A black stripe and the blue fins. Yeah, we're growing three of them, so let's see. So right now, let's take a look. Oh, you want to turn on the light? Let's take a look and see all the stuff that we have. We're going to be using these things to put in our quarantine. Um, acclimation quarantine sta station pretty much just because they're here and um we're going to be spending a lot of money to get the tanks to the front so i said you know what let's use what we have in the back they're still in great condition and we got new tanks for the front but we do have a lot of stuff that we're going to put out for sale so let's take a look at it oh right, you want to show them now yeah, or? yeah let's show them now let's just we end this video and then we do a stock video for them okay sounds good so, so got starting here we got these two fiberglass tanks. They're 10 by 6 by 2. Um, if you guys remember these tanks, these were in LA with me. And I, I bred quite a few stingrays out of these. So if anyone at home wants an affordable tank where you got the space to breed stingrays, this is it. Well, we got three stingrays, of them. and also we can put monster fish in. Oh, yes, definitely. Any, any big fish. Um, it's a good alternative. I've honestly never liked uh, swimming pools, those Intex pools, mm -hmm. because with monster fish, they can poke the liner. And I'm sure anyone at home who's had it has had that experience where, oh my God, the liner's leaking because the fish freaked out and poked the hole. So it's just, it's cheap, good to start off with, but it's long-term problems. This is a solid fiberglass tank. So okay. Do you know helps. what price you're going to put them for? Oh, I don't know. We'll we'll put it in the when you when you we'll put it in the video. Okay. So guys, this one is ten by ten three. by six by two. Ten by six we, by two. We have two of those and we have a ten by five by two. Where over there? Um actually this is the five by two. That's the six and that oh maybe that's the I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, we got three of them for yes. sale. We're gonna put them up on the website. Another one that we have, we have some AC units. 
Ray? Yes. Split we've, units. We've collected some stuff. These are mini split units. If you guys want cheap AC and heat for your home or your apartment. Put uh, your fish through. Yeah. We're going to put them for sale. It's stuff that, because our building is so big, these units aren't big enough. So we have to look for something else. Are these pumps for sales or are we going to keep some of them? Uh, a bunch of these pumps are going to go. All right, because with the newer tanks, we need bigger pumps. These were sized for all these um, medium-sized tanks. So guys, if you're looking for pumps, we're gonna have them for sale. This, I think we should keep it. Got, well, let me know in the comments below. I think we should do one with Driftwood going up with Angels and another one with Discus. Okay. PJ is still half and half with it. Yeah. But I think it would be really cool, like right in the beginning of the, the exhibit, have one on each side. What do you guys think? What about this sump, PJ? Are we selling, keeping it? Yeah, no, the sump goes. So it's a, it's a pretty big goes. sump. It's about four feet long. Um, we've got some divided up tanks. Um, those are collector's items because Rod set them on fire and saved them. <laughs> okay. So if you want a memorabilia, a predatory fins, genuine memorabilia, that's the tank you got to keep. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're still usable. You might just have to do a little work to it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we have two systems back there. Uh, and then what about these? Okay. This is a... Watch out. The top one is a three compartment. It's split up. There's dividers in the middle. It's an eight by like two by 16 or something like that. A decent sized tank. Yes. So this is good if you have fish that you want to separate, right? People at home with flower horns or other aggressive fish they want to separate. This middle one, everything's weird because it's on the side. This middle one is an eight by two by also 16. Um, this is a complete tank. And the bottom is a sump but it was cracked here during transport, but it can be patched up. It's ugly, but it works. I used the sump on under the, the big system and it lasted forever. Yeah. So all this is probably gonna be so cheap. We also have some, what, what is this? That's another heating unit. Oh, uh, 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 a heater. That, yeah, I, I forgot what type of heater that is. Oh, what about these heat pumps back yes, here? We got the two heat pumps that was from LA. Uh, capable of eating a swimming pool. So hold on. All right. All right. So we have these heat pumps. They do how many gallons? Uh, these heat pumps, it can heat a swimming pool. So probably it can handle up to like 20, 30,000 gallons. So heat pumps, heaters, AC, tanks. We water pretty much got it. Water soft to you. This, okay. So this is good. I should have left this in Florida. This is good for people in Florida and states. In places that have um, hard water. So it's a chlor, it, it removes chloramine. So two units is carbon, catalytic carbon, and two units is um, the water softener resin. So it's a combination, but so it removes can be split chloramine, up. removes ammonia. Yes. So you don't have to ever use any product. You just, the water goes through here. That's how we, we did it in Florida. For the big tanks, we never use Prime or any other uh, product. This for here did the job, and there's a computer in it that every thousand gallons used, it backwashes itself. So, you and know, you can use it in your home, right? People use this in their home. It's the same application for your aquarium or for your home. So, if you're in a state that has really high or uh, hardness, most most homes have these, like in Arizona, Florida, a lot of homes have it. But it's still a little bit different though, because he did add something to remove the ammonia. Like you broke down the chloramine. That's the, it's the took out part. the chlorine and removed the ammonia. Yeah, it's the softener part. The softener part took out the ammonia. I mean, okay. yeah. The, the catalytic carbon split the chloramines into chlorine and ammonia. Then the carbon removed the chlorine, and then the water softened, the, the, the resin in there removed the ammonia. Hmm, okay. okay. So can we use that resin to add to the tanks to make sure the ammonia doesn't spike, or how does that work? Uh, I would just rely on natural filtration to make it work. Right, because okay. this the resin runs out, then you got to change it. It's a lot of upkeep, but for your whole house filtration, it, it it's fine because it protects your pipes inside your home. So, guys, it's for sale. We got two JBJ Arctica chillers. I'm not sure what the horsepower is. It might be like two, 2.5 horsepower each. Well, if somebody's interested, we can send more details about yeah. it. But these guys are gonna be for sale because we're not gonna use it here. This is a 16 feet by four feet by three feet tall acrylic aquarium. Again, this came from LA um, and it's a, it's a well-built tank, inch, I think it looks like an inch and a quarter uh, all around. And that's all I have to say about it. Why we're not using it, there's a lot of holes drilled over here on the bottom and uh, I like to keep the rays 
So, you know, I think we, we're going to go with another option. Okay, so this can be for sale. This was still the baby? Yeah, well, this is up to you. If we're going to put a big salt water here, then I think probably we should we can because, go with this one. Because if we're going to have like a giant salt water tank and when we get something smaller, the rare, it can go in here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. we still got to redo the stands. This, this is going to be a lot of work for us. This, this is a good footprint for this tank, no? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. I don't know what he's saying. All right, anything else that we're gonna sell? Um. All right, so I think we're gonna, oh, this this 20 foot tank. I don't know, man, well, maybe we should use it like for a wall. Yeah, we could. I mean, uh, imagine like a million Tetras in there. <laughs> we had somebody that was interested, but we don't know. He hasn't said anything yet. Oh, uh, I got uh, two Ultimas here. Well, actually, that's not an Ultima. This is the Ultima. This is the Ultima 20,000. I think it's uh, one of the bigger ones that they make. Um, so why, if you have a big pond... Why are we not using it? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to go different I think route? I, yeah, I think I'm going to go different route. Drum filter? Yeah. Uh, so if you guys need Ultimas, feel free to reach out. I've got a bunch of miscellaneous ones as well, all different sizes, all right? Yeah, there's a smaller one there. There's a huge one here. And I think we're getting pretty close. This is the drum filter that we're talking about that we're probably going to keep, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty much it. We, we had a lot to sell. So if you guys want any of this, and we're still debating. We have this tank right oh, here. I have this 10-footer right here, too. Where? This is a 10-foot. This one? Yeah. So 10 by what? 10 by 30 by 30, maybe? Dude, we, we can probably make, use it. Use, yeah, we can make use of this one. Uh, what about, sorry, guys. <laughs> well, you know, money talks, you know. But what about this one? This is actually a good footprint. Yeah, this is an 8 by 6 It looks bigger than 8, though. No, it's a, it, it, It's the... Because it's 6 feet wide, it, it gives it the feel of uh, being much bigger. Typically, okay. you only see 8 by 4s uh, You rarely see 8 by 6s So, 8 by 6 might be for sale. And, you know, all this is just a matter of cleaning. It'll be crystal clear. Yeah. Oh, we got this little cylinder tank. No, this one, I, I got rid of it. You got rid of yeah. it already? Okay. But please, guys, serious offers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no Mickey Mouse? Yes. All right, so we have all these things for sale. You guys saw it. Um, I don't know, like, stuff like this we might be able to use. Right now, our biggest problem is we don't know how much space we're going to have once the bigger tanks are in place, right? Oh, yeah, and I have that, that big sump up there. I don't know, did you show them that sump up there? So that's, uh, what eight, is that? Eight by eight by two by 30 maybe okay and so. it's already compartment for uh movable media all right so if you have questions on any of the stuff we just showed feel free to reach out but i think we're gonna stop and eat because the food just came in right it came already okay and uh we're gonna do an unboxing video not an unboxing video a stock video for you guys all right thanks for watching all right I'll see actually you we need some suggestions too what other fish we should get for exhibit yeah, we'll always take suggestions, but we're not ready. Let, let's get no, some no, no. tanks no, no, no. up and but going. But what do they want to see? Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure, of course. we have to have a pli Platinum Flight River Turtle in the future. Because we oh, had yeah. one, and we're going to have to get another one. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. But did you see the video I sent you yesterday? Yes, a I did. Platinum so. Australian Lungfish. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the future. That's the up there. Yeah, that's the future. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.